Hi, I'm Miss Melissa with the Ustadt Free Library Book Bites series. Our new book is Miles Lewis, King of the Ice by Kelly Starling Lyons, illustrated by Wayne Spencer and published by Penguin Workshop. There are Miles and his parents. Skating is serious business in my family. My mom and dad can glide backwards, spin in circles, and bop to the music. They said the roller rink was the place to be when they were growing up. They loved to tell people that they met at a spot called Spinning Wheels back in their hometown of Pittsburgh. I know, kind of corny, but it makes me smile. Me, I like skating okay, but bike riding, that's my thing. Coasting down a hill with the wind in my face, pumping my legs as I jet down a trail, I'm with that any day. That's why I sighed at first when my teacher, Miss Taylor, said that our next field trip was going to the rink. My boy RJ caught me. What's wrong, Miles? He whispered. Nothing, I said. I just hoped you were going someplace different. All around me on the orange and blue carpet, my friends cheesed. Jada, Lena, and Simone nudged each other. Carson whispered to Gabby. Soon our class rumbled with energy like a crowd getting hyped before a big game. The fourth grade already had more field trips than third. I guess skating wasn't so bad. Class, class, Miss Taylor said to settle everyone down. Yes, yes, we answered. I know you're excited. Let's go over the details. We're not going to just any skating rink. We're going ice skating. Did you know that skating can teach you a lot about physics? Did Miss Taylor say physics? I sat up straight. Now we were talking. If there was something I liked as much as riding bikes, it was science and technology. Rock collecting, doing experiments with my chemistry set, building robots and flying drones. Maybe this field trip would be better than I thought. Has anyone done ice skating before? Miss Taylor asked. Gabby and I are on hockey teams, Carson said. My friend Jada raised her hand. I went ice skating with my cousins when you're visiting family in New York City, she said. I fell a few times, but I got there at the end. Lena took ice skating lessons. RJ had gone too. I wondered why I'd never tried it. As my friends shared what it was like, it sounded kind of tricky, but I could roller skate and was pretty good at picking up new things. I wasn't sweating it. How hard could it be? At recess, RJ and I headed for kickball with Gabby and Kyla. The girls had their own conversation going. RJ put his hand on my shoulder. Miles, you got me beat in most sports, he said. I'm so glad I have one up on you. What are you talking about? It's not a competition. I'm talking about ice skating, he said. Finally, finally, I know how to do something you haven't tried. I shrugged. That made him feel good? Cool. You're definitely going to wipe out at least once, he said. Made sense that I might fall as I learned, but the way he said it made me roll my eyes. Don't worry. I'll be there to help you up. Gabby and Kyla grew quiet like our conversation had just gotten interesting. I don't know why RJ was making a big deal out of this, but I wasn't going to let him talk trash. Maybe my first time, but I don't know if I'll be falling. I can skate. You sure about that? He said. How about a bet? Bet? It was like that word echoed through the playground and caught everyone's attention. Bet, bet, bet. I heard whispering and felt stares on my back. If you skate without falling, he said, I'll put a Miles is the Man sign on my backpack. If you fall, you have to put one on yours saying that I am. RJ was my friend, but he loved competition too much sometimes. This whole thing was silly. I just wanted to learn about physics and have some fun. But now that everybody was listening, I was on the spot. Bet, I agreed. The pressure was on. Chapter two is called Looking Like Me. When the school bus pulled up at my stop, I bumped fist with RJ and hopped off. I could see Nana down the block weeding in front of our house. She wiped her glistening face with her arm and smiled when she spotted me. The silver in her locks shone in the sunlight. 
There's my boy, she said when I bent down and kissed her cheek. How was your day? It was pretty good, she, I said. I aced a test and found out we're going on an ice skating trip. Sounds fun, she said. I did some skating in my day. Ice skating? Yes, sir. Don't sound so shocked. Your Nana knows a few things, she said, winking. Got a lot of homework? I already did it. I'll take my backpack in and come out and help. I didn't know why I was surprised that Nana could ice skate. Just when I thought I knew everything about her, she revealed something else. Like the time she pointed herself out as an extra in a movie we were watching. Or when she told us about the time she had to fill in for a famous singer when his bus didn't make it to the club in time. Inside her paintings gave us clues about her life. A brown girl standing behind a microphone on stage. People of all ages protesting with picket signs raised high. A picture of my granddad who had passed away when I was little in an Air Force uniform. A portrait of our family, Mama, Dad, Nana, and me, holding hands around the dinner table. That was my favorite. Sometimes I wish there was another kid in the picture with us. Don't get me wrong, being an only child had perks. No fights over what to watch on TV or what video games to play. Not battling for attention, but some days... I missed having someone my age to hang with, celebrate holidays and share secrets. I guess that's why I loved being around my friends so much. I ran upstairs to my room, dropped off my backpack, and changed into an old t-shirt and sweats. I grabbed some gardening gloves and headed outside. I thought you got lost, Nana said without looking up. I could hear the smile in her voice. I kneeled next to her in the dirt and got busy. I had to use both hands to pull out a stubborn patch of leafy plants. The roots ran deep. Tell me about ice skating, I said. It's a long time ago, honey. Feels like another life. On TV, I never saw ice skaters who looked like us with Olympic medals. So I set my mind that I would change that. I practiced and got pretty good, but there was a lot I wanted to do. Art and music ended up calling me more. I hadn't thought about ice skating be being something that could make a difference. That was cool. For a minute, I thought about telling Nana about RJ's bet, but I knew what she would say. Her voice rang out in my head. We taught you better than to follow along with something you don't feel good about. You should have set him straight. Nana and I worked side by side until the weeds were out of the ground and in the lawn bag. We can mulch next week, she said, dusting off our pants as she stood. Now it's time to get washed up. We smell like outside. I headed upstairs to take a shower and change my clothes. My parents were on their way home with dinner. Friday were our eating out days. They both worked at the university, so sometimes they drove to work together. I came down just as they were coming in. Hey, Miles, Mama said, giving me a hug. Dad pulled me into one too, after setting the bags of food on the table. The savory smell made my stomach grumble. I read the name of the restaurant on the bags. Catch of the sea. Looks like we were having fish tonight. I washed my hands and set the dining room table so we could all eat together. Nana blessed the food and we dug in. Anything new at school? Mama asked. Nothing much, I said. We're going ice skating for a field trip next week. Ice skating, huh? Dad said. Maybe you'll get into it and want to try hockey, like my man Willie O'Ree. Who's that? I said. Uh-oh. Why did I say that? Dad was a black history professor and was famous for his homework assignments. Sounds like you need to hit the books, son, he said. You know I just don't give out answers. That's too easy. Look it up on the computer after dinner, Mama said. She was a techie. Let us know what you find out. Next time, Miles will let us know what he found out. And it's pretty crazy. I'll see you then.